Hey guys, it's Ricky again, and um, here we are with the exercises that you're going to be doing this week in week two of the six week transformation program. So, uh, the ones we're going to be focusing on are jumping squats. Uh, what else have we got? We've got then the normal squats that you would have done in week one. We've got high knees, side to side toe touches. We've then got burpees with press ups and uh, then we've got oblique twists as well. So going through each of those individually, jumping squats. So these are different to the normal squats that you do. If you remember in week one, we did those normal squats where keeping the weight of the heels going down, back nice and straight. With the jumping squats, what we're gonna do is that same technique, but we're gonna have a jump in there. So it's not rocket science, this. Literally going down and then up, down, up, down. And what you want to do, you want to try and cushion your landing there. So it's not a heavy landing, it's a nice soft landing. So we're going down, and down, and down. And so you're, not, you're kind of cushioning that landing, and then you're just easing your way down, and then springing up into the jump as well. So again, it's quite a good one to do. Again, it gets the heart rate up, and you really start to feel that burn on the front of the legs when you get those repetitions up nice and high. So we've got that one, and then followed by that, we've got the normal squats that we did last week. So when you're doing normal squats after jumping squats, as so say you're really getting, it's kind of really getting in the, uh, the same muscle groups, so those quadriceps at the front of your legs, and you'll really start to feel that burn. But it's good. Feel the burn. Um, after that, then, we've got high knees. So with high knees, you know, this, this, this week's workout, so it's about this heart rate is going to be going up nice and high. If you need to take a breather, there is a, tr a strategic breather, a little break in here, you'll notice, sort of halfway through. But if you need to take one after uh, each sort of set of exercises, then feel free to do so. Um, so with regards to the high knees then, dead simple, just like looking straight ahead, back nice and straight. Get your, arm, get your hands out like this, and then you're just trying to lift your knees up nice and high and you're going really fast. And it's, when we're counting, it's like super quick. So it's like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. There you go, that's 20 done really quickly. So if you're looking at that from the side. Okay, nice and quick. So again, it's another one that just gets that heart rate up nice and high. Keeping it nice and high, then you take your breather. When you're taking a breather, you need, you need to be taking nice deep breaths, okay? Really control your breathing. Don't let your breathing kind of control you. So it's, and then. Deep breath, hold, and then out through the mouth, okay? Get that heart rate down, and then get ready to go again. And then the next exercise we've got is side to side, Okay, so we've got side to side toe touches, and then we've got the burpees with the press ups. So, side to side toe touches, all you do here is you literally take one step to the side, and then you take right hand down to left foot, come up, take a step to the side, left hand down to right foot. So, let me just show you that one. So, it's a step to the side, and down, and down. Okay, so that's a good one. And then we've got the burpees with presser. So, I showed you the burpees in last week's video. Burpees are exactly the same. So remember, so we're going up, down. And then we can go down like this into this position, do a presser. And then up, like that. And again, if you're doing the press-ups on the knees, like I said last week, that's fine. So you do a little jump, go down, once your knees, press up, and then you come back up and go again, okay? And then what we've got, oblique twists. You can do these with a the weight if you want. Um, it's not absolutely essential, but a weight is quite good to use. And what you want to try and do here at first anyway, have your heels um, lightly touching the floor, leaning back, so we've kind of got this V shape, like so, a V there. And then it's side to side. These are your obliques just here. So it's side to side. So if you can do it with a, with a weight, any weight, just grab something, like grab something uh, out of the cupboard in the kitchen or whatever. Uh, kettlebells are good to use. And just do it like that. If that's quite easy, do it with one foot off the floor. And again, if that's quite easy, do it with two feet off the floor. No? 
nice and controlled, all the way down, feeling that, as I say, just at the sides there, there are your obliques. So there we go, there are all the exercises for week two, on to week three.